Is this working? Right. Hi guys, this is the second time I'm actually doing this because I did the video and then Facebook told me this has not been uploaded. So here we go again. Quick thing we're going to go over every now and again is some of the stuff we cover in the coaches meeting to go through it on a more one on one basis. One of the things that we've been asked a lot about in the last while is after a weekend, why are we in people? And is it because we're sadistic or just plain cruel? That's not really the entire reason at least. We just want to get a handle on where people are going. And the best way to give you an idea of why is just to say we go through a little graph here with an entirely fictitious but not fictitious person who's in the gym here and how their weight progress has looked over the last couple of weeks. Now usually we're only weighing people every two to three weeks. Logistically it's, the best, it's a good balance. Gives us an idea if people are going way off kilter. If someone is having a little difficulty, we may weigh a little more often. Depends on the person. But generally, if people are happy with the trend they're at, three weeks is, is, is good. Keeps us on top of things. However, we do make exceptions. And one of those is when someone comes back from a holiday, comes back from a big weekend, or comes back from a wedding, especially if they are trying to lose weight. Some people don't care about their weight. That's fine. Things will naturally fluctuate up and down. And that's what some people have difficulty with. Not a problem, you just need to keep it in mind. So this person here was 72 kilos on Monday the 12th. I went through the log, I pulled out a couple of measurements. We did measure this person a hell of a lot more frequently than what I have on the board here. Just, I put these points up to start us off. So the points I cherry picked was, on the 12th, they were 72 kilos. Okay, then they were measured again on Monday the 26th, they were 72.5 kilos. So, they put on half a kilo. On the 9th, they were 72.5. Again, so no difference. Uh, then, Monday the 16th, things were starting to get on track. They were 71.5. And then on the following Monday, they were 71. So, there is some weight here. And they didn't put on any weight here. That's not entirely true though. Now, Monday the 19th was St. Patrick's Day. They were in here on Tuesday, and we weighed them. What were they that day? They were 73.5 kilos. Now, I'm not trying to hit anyone with a bad stick. You have to enjoy yourself. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But that's just to give us a visual representation of what was actually happening here. So that was the Tuesday. They got back on track. You don't actually put on a full kilo and a half from here to here. A lot of it is things in your system. You're retaining water. You're holding food in your digestion. However, you surely did not lose any weight in that time, that's for certain. By the following Monday, they were down to, 70, down to 72.5. So this is just like six days. Okay? Then what happened was the next weekend was Easter. And what happened then? Funny you should ask. Same thing. Went up to about, I think it was 73.7. It was a tiny bit higher. It wasn't quite 74. And again, they got back on track and they were down again on 72.5. Now it's worth to say that this person has been consistently, fairly consistently losing weight over the last two months, little by little, about half a kilo a week on average. Okay, so they are fairly disciplined when they get going. However, everyone has events. There's no problem with that. So then they went from here, 72.5, they're back on track. They actually lost a kilo in the next week, which is pretty awesome. And then they just lost a half kg after that. Now, you can't continue like that forever, but everyone wants to see a linear weight drop. The reality is that really happens. This person's scale looks like this. Now, from here to here, that's almost a month. One, two, three, four, five, six weeks actually. They lost one kilo. That person has lost more in the previous months. However, considering this, they lost one kg here, and they lost 1.2 kg here, and then they lost another kg, and then they lost another 0.5 kg. You know, so we can actually say they lost 3.7 kilos in that month. Now it doesn't look that bad. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a case of 
If you're going to have that big weekend out, you can enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm saying that a lot, but it's true. It'll come off. Don't fret. You just got to get back consistent. The worst thing you can do is have a bad weekend and say, screw it, it's all over. And let that weekend come into a week. I mean, if you have an off meal, if you have that bar, if you have something in the evening and something's not going right for you, don't be held hostage to it. You sat there, you had your chocolate bar. Fine. Leave it at that. Get your next meal on track. You'll feel better in the morning. You only have to last till the end of that night. And there's nothing wrong with that one day at a time. I used to be very heavy. I struggle with my food constantly. It is a huge issue for me. I had a huge wobbler going back to around Easter and I'm still trying to deal with it. And I've been a very bad boy because I have not measured myself as often as I should have. And I've seen the scale has stayed the same, but I know it has been up. I could feel it in my belt, I could feel it in my shirt, and I was too ashamed to weigh. However, I do know by getting back on track, by getting into the routine, those pounds are going to start to come away, I'm going to start to tone up again. It's just patience, it's just consistency. Rome wasn't built in a day. That's all there is. If anyone has any questions, <coughs> drop us a message. You hear my phone going off there in the background. Obviously someone took that very literally and very quickly. So don't be afraid to drop us a message. We'll try to get something up every Tuesday. Talk about it Tuesday. I guess there's a bit of alliteration in that. And if there's any other subjects you want to talk about, we can talk about them. You know, there's no point going over who was the world's greatest fencer. We know, it was Ned O'Nady. What was the best Schwarzenegger film? We'll try to recall. But if you have any other questions, we can go through them. Best of luck, guys.